up and y'all welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at Sonic Curse of the Werehog, Werehog Sonic in like a form. I am using the torso and legs from Sylvester and the headpiece from Sonic. I know the blue doesn't match the black and the white, however he does go into this sort of grey sort of colour when he goes into wolf mode. Um, but I can't get a grey Sonic head because they don't exist. I am using the Sonic head from the Lego Dimensions minifigure pack though, not the new one. Because that one looks more accurate to the wear Sonic. And I gave him Sylvester's toss on legs because obviously he has the gloves and his toes are out in that. And it's a good game. I have thought I have played it on the channel and I am going to go back to it, don't worry. Um, but it's a very good game. I like the wear Sonic bit because he's all muscle. He goes around, he's stretchy as well. I don't know where stretch comes into this. Stretch is a weird power to give Sonic. Like, why does he stretch? However, it's still a good game. I do recommend you play it. It's for the Xbox 360, but it can be played on the Xbox One because it is cross-compatible. That's the only game console I know how to play it on. But other than that, it is just where Sonic... I don't know what else to say about him. It's a good game. It's not the best custom I've done. I wish the colours matched a bit more, but I can't do much about it being blue with it being purist custom, which means I'm using only Lego pants. Um, so, I tried, this is the best thing I can come up with, so other than that, hope you enjoyed, see you on the next one, have a nice day, and goodbye, stay home and stay safe.